news we were just telling you about at the top of the show. Part of a major highway now closed because of this crash. Now, this is video from Chopper 9. You can see just how severe that crash is along I-40, and this is at the Catawba Iredell County line. And this involves a tractor trailer, and you can see there that camper, and we're told traffic is backed up for miles, and troopers say this won't reopen until at least 3 o'clock. We've got team coverage live at noon right now, and that includes Traffic Team 9's Mark Taylor. Well, let's start with our Dave Faraday, who's live there at the scene. So, Dave, walk us through what you're seeing. Well, Susanna, you mentioned that traffic. I had to fight that traffic just to get where I'm at right here. This is the Oxford School exit. It is a mess here in the eastern part of Catawba County. You can see where the rerouting traffic off the interstate for, from here. From this point over to the Catawba River Bridge, there is no traffic because it is completely shut down in the eastbound lanes. Take a look at some of this video we shot from Chopper 9 Sky Zoom. You can see that major crash right on the bridge that crosses over the Catawba River. It is the eastbound lanes. I'm told that a tractor trailer, a flatbed tractor trailer, and an RV, a passenger RV, collided on the bridge. There was a, one of the drivers was trapped inside that RV. We're told that they got that driver out. They have airlifted that person to the hospital. Several eyewitnesses telling us that they saw the helicopter actually set down right on the interstate to rush that woman to the hospital. In the meantime, this accident happened at 1030. They started rerouting traffic off the interstate here at mile marker 138. And the traffic is now backed up all the way to the 135. I sat in it for nearly an hour before I was able to get off the interstate. Mark Taylor, I think you've got some ideas on how people can possibly get around this area, which is a mess right now. I can tell you, Mark, though, I went down to the uh, accident scene a little while ago. There were some wreckers down there, so hopefully this will open up a little bit earlier than what the state is saying right now. Yeah, Dave, because I'm hearing around 3 o'clock is when they have to have it uh, completely cleared, so that's still several hours away, so let's hope that is the case. In the meantime, this is what we know. As Dave mentioned, eastbound 40 closed. The accident happened right at the river here, right at the county line. Traffic's being rerouted off of Oxford School Road, but we want to get you away from all of this because you're traveling four miles per hour as you approach it, so I would bail at Oxford Street. Now, you can take Highway 70 through town head east, but look at the overflow on Highway 70, especially around NC 10. So even better option for you is to take old Catawba Road, NC 10 to Highway 70, Sharon School Road back towards I-40 and you'll get around it.